what is happening right now in Syria. President Obama is back from his vacation, uh, the discussion of striking inside Syria. It's interesting that the United States is thinking of striking inside Syria at this point. The question is, to what end? I mean, now the Islamic State has taken a major airport outside Raqqa. It's a military airport. It has them, you know, they have now MiGs in their possession. They have so-called man pads, surface-to-air missiles. But that's really not what they're after. What they're going to make a move for is to go towards the airport of Hama and the town of Hama, which will cut off Syrian government control over the entire western flank of Syria. So they have a very interesting territorial ambition to create a, a big zone a crescent, as it were, from Tripoli in Lebanon all the way out to uh, northern Iraq. That's their game plan. It's very unlikely that U.S. airstrikes will be able to stop their, uh, their march forward. It will halt them. It will make them change direction. For instance, the United States struck recently to protect U.S. ally, you know, the Iraqi Kurds. They struck right outside Erbil, hit the 198 howitzers that the Islamic uh, uh, State had taken from the military base in Mosul. So when they did that, the Islamic State turned around and went back towards Raqqa. In other words, they are playing a kind of territorial land battle. They are not going to be stopped fundamentally by airstrikes. One tactical mission can be halted, then they will redirect. That's the way they've been playing at it. If you're going to defeat the Islamic State, it is going to have to come on the ground. It's going to have to come through Kurdish forces, through Iraqi forces, through Syrian forces. And currently, that is not something people are talking about. There is a belief in the great silver bullet of American aerial strikes. And I'm afraid, you know, that's very pleasant to hear because it sounds like the Americans are doing something, but it's not really strategically useful in the long run.